Express is right of the NFL. It's like 30 seconds long. I think we'll be all right. Guys, the first annual The Level Up Bowl. We're going to be doing it every year from now on. Turn it down a little bit so you guys can hear. So each year we're going to be doing a greatest of all time category, bracket style, tournament style, for you guys to vote on with us. This year we're doing greatest game of all time. We want to just go to the normal, most common, usual category possible. And I think this will cause a lot of hatred among us. Shit's going to get ugly. Shit is going to, it's going to get real. It's going to get real it's very soon. It's going to get as real as it's ever got. I'm really excited for this though. Every single it's poll. It's going to get surreal. So real. It's gonna be so like real. the level up, these guys. Every single poll so is gonna go up on like screen for you guys. I'm just gonna say right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be Peter Bar and jealous. I hope. <laughs> Be good sports about this, guys. We're all friends here. We're all friends here. Let's not let this ruin our relationships, all right? Oh, that's actually really good. Right? You're welcome. I have no idea what's going on. Dean, he was like, haha, he was making fun of me, so I said, don't be peanut butter and jealous. I would like that. That's very good. All right, let's start, guys. Round, Round one. one. Round Sorry. one. Sorry. This oh, is six, 16 uh, different battles in the first round. First up. I like this. <laughs> First up, we got The Last of Us versus Halo Combat Evolved. Oh, this is Sorry, tough. it wouldn't fit it. I really don't think it it's is okay. that tough, personally. No, I'll try but again. here's what's tough about it, is that Drew is an asshole and put these really random fucking games together. That's the point, you want them to be random. Here's the right. thing, if that was Halo 2, I would say this is tough, but these two, fucking The Last of Us, you're the awful one. I mean, The Last of Us all the way, 100%. There's going to be no doubt in my mind it's going to win, and it deserves to win. The problem is, we need to give Halo the respect it deserves because it's going to lose right now. Okay. So, yeah. I think we need to do that. The reason why Halo is on this list and Halo Combat Evolved and not Halo 2 is because not only was Halo Combat Evolved one of the most underdog and best-selling games oh, of that genre. Oh, it's great. I love it. It completely changed console gaming for first-person shooters. Mm -hmm. um, it brought about a whole new style of gameplay um, and a little bit more twitchy action. There's other games that have done twitchy, you know, are you know, arena-based, you know, uh, shooters, but nothing has done it in the same grand scale that Halo's done. Plus, I... the, the, the co-op, the co-op Just... in the story. I, I, what about Unreal Tournament? I, I'm not saying it's the only one, but for consoles, I'm t we're talking about consoles. I mean, uh, I agree, I agree, but for consoles, it's the only one. Um, so, and it, again, the whole thing about co-op <laughs> on the story, um, it was unique and different to where you can be almost at two other sides of the map in some parts, where at that time, that was never heard of. Yeah. You were right next to each other the entire time. I think this is good, because honestly, Halo was not winning this, this, no. this, this night. No. So, I think it's good that we're getting it out of the way now. It, it got its recognition, it's on the list, you know, it is one of the greatest games of all time, but it, it wasn't going to win greatest game of all time. Now, you guys have to remember, we picked 32 games. Wouldn't it be hilarious hard. if it won this poll? <laughs> I, I don't know, I would leave. But guys, guys we know Halo is not gonna win. Wait, Halo won. Wait, let me <laughs> say it real quick though, guys. The in the chat room keeps getting posted. Uh, Dean, you could put a uh, exclamation point topic. That is the link to the bracket. You guys can follow along. We're gonna be updating the back uh, bracket as we go along, so you guys can see what the matchups are gonna be in the future. Let's see what the poll results are. Let's see what you guys voted for. Greatest game of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing destructive. Right. Yeah. So, uh, 86 percent. People actually voted for Halo. Yeah, Only six people. Six but people. they actually voted for it. Yeah, but yeah. that's still pretty like clear. Yeah, that's that was a pretty small pretty sample size. We had yeah. 45 people vote. Yeah. <laughs> so, The Last of Us is the first battle winner. Let's see what happens next, guys. Mm. You have to give me a second. Oh, it's okay. You take your time. It'll happen organically. God of War 2 versus Bioshock. I do not have input for this oh. one. Go. I have all the input, dude. Both amazing games. I know, yeah. Dean. They're just. Uh, this is a tough one. I, I you said it. you had input, not grunts. Do, do, oh my god, I didn't realize input. until this moment how difficult this is going to be. Input is, uh, I never asked for this. Oh my god. They're so good. I didn't, so I didn't understand memories. the ramifications of this topic. Yeah, it's not good, dude. Oh, uh, okay. So, um, that's rough. That's a rough matchup. I, you brought I think this upon oh yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. This is probably the best God of War. 
God of War 2, I think, is the best God of War. That's I arguable. Argue the Greg. Shit out That's of arguable, yes. Greg, yeah. Greg yeah. fought 3 was the best. But God of War Bioshock, Bioshock the hell out of Dean for 3. Bioshock is one of those games that like kind of changed things a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. I mean, God of War is Ninja Gaiden, it's Devil May Cry, it didn't really right. revolutionize anything. Bioshock did some really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna be against these two, I, I gotta say, I feel like like Terry Bradshaw, like the, uh, <laughs> sports cast I know! I feel like it right now. But I gotta say Bioshock, because that game I, I think I agree, really actually. Awesome, dude. As much as I love God of War, and I think God of War 2 oh, might yeah. be the best one, I think I've gotta go with Bioshock on this. Bioshock's story and was great. Over. I chose two because at the time I thought two was much more revolutionary than three was. Yeah, I two agree. was a huge deal at the time, and the crazy part about that is it came out in two thousand six after the PS three came out, and still right. it was huge. Like it, it blew people. Away. That's the thing. Like God of War two, it, it you might not think it changed anything, but that is like a quintessential like action game. Yeah. Enough of us. A long time. Let's check out the portal results, guys. What did you guys say? God of War two versus Bioshock. And the winner is... Oh, oh my oh! god! Oh, that was close! That was real close. Real close there, but uh, it, we were right. Yeah, Bioshock. I'm with it. I'm All right. I, you know, this is going to be awesome. No disappointment so far. No. This is rough. I'm that waiting for that first one where we all come to an agreement on a game, and everybody's like, no, fuck you, we want this one instead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, let's put that into the bracket real quick. Oh, this one's going to be tough. So you guys voted for Bioshock. And now let's go to the next battle. This one's tough. Rogue's Model! Next battle! This one's gonna be tough Rogue too, guys. Ah. <laughs> that was so good. Rogue <laughs> Journey oh, versus no. Okami. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> right? You That's said that last one was hard. <laughs> you guys know my choice. Did you play I Okami? Know. I've played Okami. It does not matter. Journey. I will slap you upside the head. <laughs> Journey is one of my favorite games of all time. It's not going to win tonight, but the you, battle Journey wins. I, I, you I, shut I, I, your I, mouth. I'm sorry. Journey was a great game for fifteen dollars. I mean, it was an amazing game for fifteen dollars. But Okami was just so much more. Oh God, this is gonna disappoint me. <laughs> no, so look much at it. more. Oh God, I told you. Ah. I told you it was gonna lose. I'm pretty sure everybody agrees with me. Okami, no, Journey, guys, Journey. <laughs> Okami had so much going on with it. How long? Was I will game? never cry. Wait, 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 wait. Like I, cry. I, got, I got to like, a point where I'm like, okay, cool. Okami is done. Wait, you mean the game's still going? Holy shit, it's I not know. over why, yet? Uh, why, why Journey Over Okami? I've never been impacted in, in that way, and what, it took me totally by surprise. That game, it totally it leads up in two hours. That's all it takes. First of all, let's talk about the asynchronous gameplay. Like, the anonymous partner that you can't communicate with, but you somehow form this this relationship that you can't believe how strong it is by the end of the game, and you can only talk to each other through these little bleeps and boops. Bloops, you don't have, you don't have text. All you can do is make these little sounds, and that's no. how you call your friend. The, the fact that people started drawing things in the sand to tell each other things. But when you get to the end and you understand what you are doing, what the point of the game is, and it just it just washes over you. You ever see that, that gif of the, the feels yeah. washing over you? <laughs> it's just like, the, oh, God. And it, I, it has to be said, the score by Austin Winnery is, in my opinion, the best gaming score of all time. It's the best music I've ever heard ever in a video game. That music will bring me to tears every single time I hear it. But when I finished the game with a partner and at the end of the game, I didn't think know this was coming, my partner in the snow at the top of the mountain drew a heart in the snow and I like it just I was just like this That's this is the most awesome beautiful game I've ever this yeah, is the most beautiful game I've ever played. Like I will never ever be impacted emotionally the way that impacted. Alright, well, let's see what they thought. Alright guys, I I made my case are you ready? Julie. Yes. Are all the votes in? Yes. You're yeah. fucked. <clears throat> all, anybody that's gonna vote and had their chance, you're fucked. That's uh, gonna be close. Oh my god! god! <laughs> <laughs> that was real close. How, are you more mad that it was oh that close? Oh my god. Like, would you have been happier if it was farther away? <laughs> that was the best! Oh, <laughs> Why? Put it in! Oh. Damn it. Write it up! All right. This what is, are the results? This is not my game of the all time. It's yours, and you guys voted for Okami, which I is a great. Game. It. It's an either. Excellent. Don't game. think me naive of what oh kind my of God. game is Okami. Deal Okami. with it. Who was up? It was not like Capcom. Platformer action adventure. You play as this kind of wolf named Amaterasu. It's third party. It's, 
Ad- adventure. You paint in person. the game. You actually. I played as the wolf in Marvel vs. Capcom, but I never played the actual okay. comic. It has like a oh. paintbrush look to it. The graphics are really beautiful, but you actually draw with the paintbrush to do certain commands. Oh, that's And uh, it was really cool at the time. And, uh, it's still cool now. It's very cool now. And they brought I, it over I, to I Wii and PlayStation using the mo- the move as your paintbrush. And a uh, really, really cool, beautiful game, for sure. I just remember my friend had the most difficult time possible tr- try and draw a circle. Like, she, yeah. just, she just couldn't draw a circle. And it's so it's so easy, though. That's why I think the move and the Wii it's, really it's, helped with that. Well, no, yeah. the drawing the circle, it's like you take your joystick and you just move it in a circle really quick. And then you draw the circle, and that's a bomb. <laughs> And you blow shit up. Let's move right. on to the next battle, oh, guys. Yeah, 200. We're at 200. Thanks for, so much for coming in, guys. Next battle. What is Vote. Up? Vote. Greatest game of all time. This one. Um, well, we all know Final Fantasy sucks. Portal 2? Yeah, this is not as, as cut and dry as, you, as I think you guys think. Portal 2? This is going to be a close one, I think. Yeah. Final Fantasy 7 is obviously my choice. This, this isn't a right. contest to me. I mean, Portal 2 was good, but the first Portal was just... Really? Do you think Portal One was better than Portal Two? At the time, yeah. And it's time. I think. I think is what he's saying. Like you, 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 get, you gotta, you gotta get things context. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, um, I'm making, I'm making my vote. Oh man. No, you're not allowed to vote on this. If you can vote, that means we should be able to vote. <laughs> <laughs> he's been voting the whole time. So is Dean. That's I, no, I, that's I, not fair. <laughs> I voted on the same thing. She voted for Journey for me. Thank you. Yeah. It's still lost. It's still lost. It's still your, lost. Your opinion didn't matter, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Mike is here. Final Fantasy VII really changed our vote. Games. Come on, like Final Fantasy VII uh-huh. changed. I'm not games. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> It changed the landscape of gaming, I'm for God's sakes. Yeah, Nintendo is not what it is because of this. They I were am... supposed to have Final Fantasy VII. They screwed up by pissing off Sony. Sony created the PlayStation as a result right. of that and grabbed Final Fantasy VII to say, F you, Nintendo. Right. That was a huge deal. Yeah, you guys remember Project Dolphin? Yeah. That one? Yeah. 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 That was Sony. Yeah. That was uh, Nintendo fucking Sony over hardcore. Yeah. 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 Now we have the PlayStation as a result. They did it. They were the ones that created PlayStation. Now we have, now we have Sony dominating. Um, I, here's what I'm going to say. I, I am going to... I Portal 2 <laughs> is not going to win, and it shouldn't win. Portal 1 should have been on the list. Okay. Because in context and its time, it was great. It was a completely unique and different take on not only a puzzle platformer, but on how games are perceived. It was a mod that the developer said, we respect this, let's make a game out of it. And they did that. Mm-hmm. And is that at that time it was something that no one else has done before? Yeah, yeah, and, and it, not very many developers do it to this day. It was, it was just at the time it was so good. Okay. And Portal Two, I mean, was a good game, but it just wasn't as revolutionary as it was a revolution. It was, but it was a better game. And yeah. Portal Two came it did out so much more. It told a better yeah. story. Right. Like, and Portal Two came out when Portal One, Portal One did. By hands down, yeah. I would have actually chosen that one. Yeah, yeah but, but I it think did. because of the game that we put on the list, which is a little <laughs> bit of our fault, I, I think Final Fantasy. Even though I never beat Final Fantasy VII, mm. um, I know the you know connections that people have yeah. to it. So I think. Let's Final look at the results, guys. What did you guys vote for, Final Fantasy VII or Portal Two for greatest game of all time? And the answer is. Final Fantasy VII. Wow, it's closer than I thought that. 58%. Honestly, I seven. think it would have been closer if uh, it was Portal. Yeah, I never played that. Uh, anybody talking about that in the chat room? Is, is anybody saying it should have been Portal instead of Portal 2? Um, I have not heard it. A lot of people said Portal 2, they wanted to win, but I didn't hear anyone say the original. Actually, that, so, that's an interesting point. Somebody said the orange box was sick. Should, should oh we have made... Great. No, calculations no. don't count. No. Yeah, it's a calculation yeah. type thing. No. Alright, let's move on to the next This battle. next one, I hate you for uh, you know what? I tried to be fair. I tried. Do you know what the next one is? Yeah. We're about to find out. Can I vote? Pokemon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Pokemon <laughs> Red slash Blue versus Goldeneye <coughs> 007. Um, I love Goldeneye. I do. And it, but you gotta remember, what did it do for shooters? Pokemon what did it do for console gaming? is a dynasty. And you're correct. But here, okay, so why do you we can't make Golden the same Eye? argument Golden 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 Eye Eye not for Goldeneye and Halo? Right now, huh? <laughs> you can't make the same argument. Absolutely can. Eye. That's why a lot of these games are on this you list. Can't. Absolutely can. It, the it, way that Golden it's starting, it's starting. It's, 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 it's not a first person. It's, <laughs> it's not like it's a, the first first person shooting game. It was no, out you're for right. consoles, okay. But at that time, there was almost no other first person like that. I think Perfect Dark is better. 
I think perfect dark is better. Oh ho! Perfect dark was everything Golden I had, but improved. Yeah, perfect dark. Was <laughs> I'm not saying Golden Eye was a bad game, but perfect dark did it. Also. In I don't case play. this wasn't clear, I vote Pokemon. Pokemon. I, 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 Pokemon. I vote Pokemon. Uh, and Pokemon. I shouldn't take this into account, but Pokemon is a dynasty! God damn, did Golden Eye age terribly. Yeah, oh my oh, god, yeah, right? It is a it is terri- it's a terrible game. That now. said, and that's why Pokemon wins, I went back and played Pokemon Red. Yeah. And it plays and just it fine. Plays the the fact that we have that people in their 20s and 30s still playing Pokemon yeah, dude. should speak to oh. itself. This so. is a lot right. closer than you guys I think are thinking it's going to be. Hey, oh, you're really cheating. Upset. I'm cheating. I'm no, sorry. Go. Go. <laughs> if I can't Everybody's vote, done. you can't look. We're all, all right. Done. We're all done. Let's th- let's look at the uh, votes, guys. What did you guys vote for? Yes, Doom Turkey. Perfect Dark wins because of the laptop gun. No! What is your deal? No, it's 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 rose tinted glasses. <laughs> All of you get out. It's just nostalgia. I'm a little I'm surprised. It's, it's I mean Pokemon it's really like Pokemon didn't wow. win that. They need to get out. Well, you, first upset of the night. I don't know. To us. That's yeah. an upset. Yeah, yeah for that sure. Is an upset. But that's what you guys voted for. So we are going to put it in the bracket. I hate you all. Put it in the bracket. <laughs> Golden Eye versus Pokemon. Golden Eye won. Why is this not? I want you all to go and play that game. And only play that game for the next week. Yeah, everyone, get out! And that's your you punishment. Stumble upon Whoever Pedro, voted for GoldenEye needs to go out of their way and play GoldenEye solely by itself for the next week until next episode. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, 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 oh. the people in the chat are like, oh my god, what happened? Where was the votes <laughs> then, people? I don't know. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't do it. You voted this. this. You, you did. I this. never asked for this. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, the damn bracket actually has has its own Twitch. Who's got Twitches on Twitches on Twitch? Bracket, yeah, the bracket's pretty cool. If you guys go to the bracket, you can actually watch Twitch right through the bracket as well. Right. Oh, it's pretty cool. That's weird. Yeah, it actually uh, it links up. Uh, let's take a moment here before one. we move on. Let's take a break. I do hate it. And thank some people for their Twitch oh arts. God. What the shit? Thank you to Big Jimbo, also <laughs> Mammoth Gaming crap. 93, Royal Concept, Iceman, Binded. Natural 80, yeah. Mr. Crazy Face, The Ray Gun, Darth v- Bane, Nick, yeah, yeah. 3 3, Lil Miss Peacock, Blades of Chaos, oh. Skins Fan, Which Lil Mexican, wow. Jay Viper, and Don't Hold Your Met. Yeah, We're caught up now. <laughs> Alright, guys, we are ready to move on to the next battle. Let's see what happens next. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Batman, Arkham Asylum versus Super Smash Brothers Melee. This was a tough choice. Which sorry, Batman? We should we should have gone with. No. It's okay. So they they can I'm see sorry, on the screen. It doesn't now. fit them. That's why they can see on the screen as well. Batman, Arkham Asylum versus Super Smash Brothers, guys. Melee. Um, I know some people are probably gonna say City should have been on this instead of Asylum. We decided to go with Asylum. We all like Asylum. Right? I don't think so at all. Uh, the opinion seems to be that Asylum was just a better. Like, more solid story yeah. than City was. What about Smash Brothers? This is the definitive uh, Smash Brothers. New, new, I'll tell you what, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the uh, ending of City over Asylum. Just yeah, because, like, I agree. The ending of Asylum got kind of silly. I don't know. But I, I don't mean, know. It's, it's this like, is tough. I don't know. Do I even need to talk? Everyone knows what I'm going to vote for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know what you're going to vote for. That said, I don't think it should win. You don't think so? I love it, <laughs> but it wasn't gay. It wasn't Genre changing. Okay. Um, they were both great in completely different ways. See, Melee wasn't Equal. genre changing for me. It just redid the original Super Smash Brothers. 64 was the Smash Brothers yeah. that me and my friends were. But this is what I always hear is the best of the Super Smash yeah, Brothers. Yeah, it's it's regarded as the best in tournament scenes. In yeah. Canada. Yeah, because they. It, it definitely had a higher skill ceiling. Yeah, yeah. for sure. There's a lot more involved. There's a lot more technicality to it. Okay. So you have Batman. I'm going to go with Super Smash Brothers. I never played Super Smash Brothers. I'm not a, into that series, so I have to go with Asylum just because that's the only one I played. Mark? I'm going to have to give it to Smash Brothers. There we go. go. Let's enough. see what you guys yeah. voted for. It's even. Batman Arkham Asylum versus Super Smash Brothers. I will be there. No matter what, I'm going to be disappointed. At I'll be surprised with Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. my God. Batman oh, Arkham Asylum won. It, it, pretty commanding. It, it, it was the Batman effect. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say this right now. Don't be surprised if Arkham Asylum makes it to greatest of like makes it towards the end. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised because I it's. I'm going to say like it's the Batman effect. It's a great Batman game, and I think right. it's probably the first 
Batman game that actually did him right. Okay. That's the thing, right? Like, that, that was uh, the start of Batman being like a, like a force in gaming. Like, like a decent one, from what I understand, on like SNES. Like that's yeah. Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- this, this was uh, the maker. Break. Arkham Asylum. I remember playing it because I did play both, and I was playing Asylum, and I'm just like, holy shit, I am Batman. Yeah, like the, I am the knight. Yes, I'm just for real. I'm playing. Yeah, yeah. I am the knight. I, <laughs> they really nailed it. Yeah, and I know. it was like, if you know the history behind it, it was like. This like, was their last shot at a Batman game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like, they fucking they nailed it. They knocked it out of the park. They really You are Batman! Flip right. around, knocking All right. people next, out, batarang, next one. hooks. Yeah, I completely agree. Really it crap. really got you. You felt like you were Batman. Yeah. puzzles. That's, yeah. that's detective. Be, detective. I think, detective. I think, I think yeah. Arkham Asylum is going to be a really strong contender for... <laughs> This was this was very oh, tough geez. for me to oh, put yeah, together man. because I know Ocarina of Time oh, is going to win this. <laughs> I know Ocarina of Time is going to win this, but Metal Gear Solid Three oh. is such a good game. It's like I I hated putting these two up against each other, but why three? Three, you know, it was, it was a t- Metal Gear Solid. Exactly, there was a, it was it was close for me between Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid Three. I think Metal Gear Solid Three did much more than Metal Gear Solid did. Metal Gear Solid was awesome cinematically I know, and all that kind of stuff. Just, Metal Gear Solid, I think, had a wire, a larger playthrough. Like more people played Metal Gear Solid than Snake Eater. Okay. Uh, I usually see Metal Gear Solid Three as voted as the best Metal Gear Solid. I've never played Metal Gear Solid personally. It's usually Metal Gear Solid Three, then Metal Gear Solid, then Four and Two are kind of after that. Mm-hmm. Three, a lot of people consider the best, especially the subsistence version, which was the remastered version of it, because they added full 3D camera control. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, like, the camo, that was the first time they added camo. It did an amazing story. They surprised everybody by going back to Big Boss for the first time. Uh, I consider it probably the best Metal Gear Solid, and that's why it's on the list here. But it also contends with what a lot of people consider is the best Legend of Zelda game. Most people, I mean, not most people, but this is widely regarded as one of the greatest games of all time. Mm-hmm. Always. It's always on the top There's 10 a lot of or top 5. For George Mask yes. and you know, a lot of other ones, but this one right here, Ocarina of Time, is considered one of the greatest games ever made. Well, so you're clearly Metal Gear. I'm not clearly Metal Gear here. Oh, really? I, 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 that's interesting. Ocarina of Time is that that's a, that's almost a life changing game. I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I'll never forget when I got the gold edition. You know, I got the T-shirt, I got the soundtrack, all yep. bundled together for my parents for Christmas. Uh, I'll and never forget the. the shit. It's one of those things where certain games you when you think about them you get a feeling inside. Mm-hmm. Like all the feels. You go back to that you moment really when you were like ten. Journey. It's like you know, like every every game has like a feeling. Like yeah. if you think about any game, it's like you get you can't explain it. It's just like this this something inside of you that you feel. hundred percent. But Ocarina of Time is like a strong yes. feeling. Like it's that's a, something like that's strong. Like with the like a, the kind of feeling that The Last of Us yeah. left with me. Yeah. It's like equal level for sure. It's nothing that you'll ever be able to explain or describe. No. You you I know totally it, get it though. but you know it. Yeah. So let's look at the results, guys. What'd you guys vote for? Ocarina of Time or Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater? I know what's gonna happen here, but I'm for sure with Zelda. I'm a big Zelda fan. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> by one percent. <laughs> How do you vote for them by one vote? That is unbelievable! How does that happen? The first round, Ocarina of Time is gone? That's crazy. Wow. I blame you for We're this. We're streaming through the PS4. That was an upset. I blame you We're for streaming this. through the PS4. It was That's true. close. That was the closest one yeah, I blame you for this. I'm sorry. I think that was the most number of votes we had That's for a topic. Of an hour too. Too. That was 60 I, people. I, wow. That's I, I'm, I'm blaming you for this. I'm shocked. I said Ocarina of Time at the end. I wasn't even like, I was just explaining you why. You put these together, I blame you for this. Uh, I never thought that would happen. <laughs> I never in a Holy million crap. years thought that would happen. No, I wouldn't have guessed that either. Ever. I don't like it either. I, I thought I could what? put anything. I don't like you guys. I thought I could have put anything up against <laughs> Ocarina of Time and it would have won. What are they saying in the chat? Wow. What is the answer? Uh, they're all real mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> you are the cause of this! <laughs> I'm I'm blown away. We gotta just move on. Dude, we, 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 it seems honestly, it seems really split. We got some people that are like, yes, and a lot of people are well, like, obviously, it fuck? was this pretty much fifty fifty. I feel like there's a lot of trolls in here tonight. <laughs> Don't troll it. All right, let's move on to the next panel. He didn't vote. He's hitting. You should have voted, man. It would have been a tie. Dick, Mark, did you vote? No, I didn't. Damn it, Drew. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Silent Hill Two. Versus oh, Shadow geez. of the Colossus. Sorry, it Actually, doesn't fit. I don't like any of these. 
You don't like Sherlock Holmes? Oh my he God. just doesn't like doing these polls, is what he's saying. Oh, I don't like. I don't like this either. It's stressful. This is this is actually, I think, one of the toughest ones. This is a tough one, yeah. For me, it's Shadow of the Colossus, easily. No, for, no question in my mind. I don't like horror games. I'm a terrible. I understand what Silent Hill did did for horror games. But it was right. such a good game. Yeah, yeah I, I think Silent Hill has an amazing two, ending. I think Silent Hill Two can still be looked at as like one of the the definitive horror games. I agree. Yeah, I agree. and then not as just like oh, not even horror games. Honestly, I would say horror experiences. It's like, so much more than there is scares. Uh -huh, right. There is there is better things out of Silent Hill 2 than most movies put together. There is very little horror-inspired um, entertainment in general yeah. that can go up against Silent Hill 2. The reason I like Shadow of the Colossus so much, and I think it's one of the first games that ever really tackled minimalistic storytelling and also, yeah, also atmosphere. That's very true. Yes. I've never seen another game that really made a huge open world, but intentionally didn't populate it with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. They made it so that you really had to search every nook and cranny of that world to understand what was happening and tell a story. The story is told in the environment. There's only three cutscenes in that game. The starting cutscene, a mid cutscene, and a final cutscene. Mm -hmm. But still, you understand the ramifications of everything you're doing in that game. And when you see the finale, you understand what you were doing fully, it really hits you. It's revered yeah. so well. Yeah. I mean, they even, I mean, I, I, I love the movie, but... Um... Uh, right over me. Right over me. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. yeah. Anytime I see the game, that's what I think of. I see yeah. Adam Sandler with crazy hair. Um, but it's revered by so many people as yeah. a phenomenal oh. game. That was and the it's first a game, time like, I experienced grand scale. This yeah. is actually the first game I feel like <clears throat> got people that weren't into gaming into gaming. Mm -hmm. um, you know that that age because there was a time where you know ga video games were made for people our age and then they were made for young kids. And then all of a sudden, there's starting to be this transition, and this is one of those games that really inspired that transition. I think. So I think Shadow Classes should yeah. win this one, in my opinion. I do not want to make a guess because I don't want to be. I know, game. right? I mean, Sil Silent Hill 2, though, is awful. Well, yeah, it's, it's excellent. Vote, though. Uh, let's see what the yeah, results choose. are. Yeah, let's see what the results um, are, guys. I'm going to go with Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. It did more for gaming, but Silent Hill is a strong competitor. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I don't think anything's going to upset Drew anymore after the Ocarina of Time. So um, I'm, I'm very, very, that's I, done. It's, it's just, I, yeah, nothing it's is off the table. Two games I thought would go to like the round four, probably. Uh, I'm, I, it's like Kansas City wow. losing in the first of the um, March Madness. Blown away. Like, it's this just, is insane. It doesn't this make is, sense. This is blown away. This yeah. is great. This is, this is shocking. Um, Guys, oh you guys are very God. different than us. That's for sure. All right. Oh, I hate you for this next one All right, let's, so much. Let's move on to the next I one. I really fucking hate you for this. I'm sorry. I, I, really I obviously really put together some good battles here because they're, they're shocking. <sighs> Do you know what the next one is? Yeah. <laughs> I know, when I put this together, I immediately knew what I was doing. This is a tough one. This is Super Mario World versus Final Fantasy VI, widely regarded as being better than Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. I'm going with Super Mario World. Uh, yep. Oh, man. I, I, I don't even know what Super I go with here. Mario like I said, when I was putting these together, I didn't, oh, like, uh, I wasn't land, thinking, like, whatever. what was I going to vote for? Like, I was just putting them together. It's Super Mario World did more. Yoshi! I know, I know. Super Mario World is the reason that I am still like an avid gamer. Like, Greg is still mad about that. That was really. the. <laughs> Greg, get over it, Greg, it's over. <laughs> I, I have to probably say Super Mario World. I think Final Fantasy VI is top two Final Fantasies. It's right there with seven for me. But, I mean, Super Mario World, God, that changed things. Like, that's. That game is. That's probably the best Mario game. Yeah, uh, uh, easily. Arguably against <clears throat> Bros. 3. Yeah, Bros. 3 is very good as well, yeah. That's not Which even was actually another part. one that... Yeah, Mario we, were, we tried to use... We do, I'll say right now, we have Super Mario 64 on here. The reason we didn't do Bros. 3 is because we didn't want to do two Super Nintendo era Super Mario games. Um, so that's why we did Super Mario 64 a little later on. But uh, yeah, I think that we're all in consensus here. Super Mario uh, World I would be the so. winner here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's like, uh, it's tough. It's a tough one. I don't, I don't know. know if, I don't know if it's not tough. The win of all time. I don't know if it's not tough. Hmm? Between these two, I don't know if it's. Not I tough. think it's going to be tougher than you think. Oh, well, let's see what the well, yeah, let's see. Let's the answer with uh, with uh, Mel yourself. I know. I, I think we've had two upsets so far. More Can we even call them more. upsets? Can we just say we're wrong? Yes. We're not even close. Sorry. Yeah, Ninety-two. Look at that. Look at that blowout. <laughs> not even. Not even close. You're talking about Mario. He's Mario is the juggernaut franchise. Yeah. It's. As, as nice as, as great as Final Fantasy is, it's, 
My but friendship so far, why are we doing a commercial? Um, let's wait until round one is done. Exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna read yeah. off some Twitch hearts now. Okay. Thank you to Neo, Antoine, Power Surge, JD Owen, uh, JCM Proc, Scarecrow209, Chucky, Booty Killer, New Kill Cam, oh and God. Big Jimbo. Thank you so much, guys, for all the Twitch arts. Keep them coming. The also, make sure you follow us, guys, and subscribe, and check out our Patreon. Do all the different things on the channel there. That's the best way to support the show and the Level Up Network. So let's move on to the next one. This one sucks. This one is going to be a red to a lot of people. The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past versus Red Dead Redemption. I think this one, you guys know how much I love Red Dead Redemption, yeah. but Link to the Past is, is not even close. Yeah. Link to the Past. Again, I'm, a, I'm like, honestly, with the way that the last Zelda one performed, I'm going to have to get this to Red Dead. I know, you might be right. If Ocarina of Time couldn't win... Against Metal Gear? I, I don't think there's well, any chance. Well, Red a lot of people that didn't for that console generation have an N64. So you had a lot of people that had... We have had so many young people watching Nintendo. our show right now that never even owned a Super Nintendo. So that it's, really it's skews gonna us. Be Red Dead Redemption. Redemption. It's going to be Red Dead Redemption. It's going to be Red Dead Redemption. I'm going out there and saying Link to Pass is right up there with Ocarina of Time for me. It might even be better than Ocarina of Time for me. Okay. I love Link to the Pass. And not just also say this as well. I didn't put it on the list, but I really wanted to. Wind Waker might be also right there. Yeah. I Waker's love awesome. I love Wind Waker. I think that's one of the most underrated. Zelda Did we put game our probably. honorable mentions on here? No. no, there's no honorable mentions, but I will say Wind Waker was one of those ones I really wanted to have on the list, but I knew I couldn't put it there. So still getting votes. Oh still getting votes. Let's give it a little longer here. Um, anybody like want to say anything here? I think it's going to be an upset. I think this will be an upset as well. I think just because not a lot of people have played. I don't Super think Nintendo. it'll be that. But Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption is a was such a great fantastic game. open world game. Mm -hmm. it, it, it performs Plus, I mean, dude, you can shoot a bear while on horseback. You can do anything while on horseback. Yeah, one, right. I, I tell this story often, but one of my favorite moments You're on is horseback. It's going so up cool. into the mountains for the first time. First of all, just seeing the snow, the atmosphere was just awesome. And the first thing that happens when I get up there is I see I, I see some guy like running or something. Like He looks suspicious. And then I start hearing screaming. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I quickly dart over, and there's a woman being hung. Like, she's being hanged um, by this criminal. I don't even know what he is. So I shoot the guy and I get off my with my horse as quickly as possible. I'm trying to figure out how do I how do I get her uh, like you know down. Like I'm trying to shoot You're the rope. Oh. I'm trying everything I can to get her down and it's not working. Suddenly a freaking polar bear or whatever comes out of nowhere and just completely takes me down. So I'm like I'm pulling out the shotgun. I'm like I'm trying to take the polar bear down and the woman's hanging. I'm like I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm trying to kill this freaking polar bear and I, I'm just a second too late to Save this woman from hanging to death. But I'll never forget that moment. That was an awesome <laughs> moment. All right, let's see what the results are. I think that's what makes a, a really incredible game is something that has a moment that sticks with you and just. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 I, I had a feeling that was really. I good. hate you all. Not. Nah, I, I love you all. I didn't. But <laughs> sometimes. Uh, I understand that not a lot of people here probably played Link to the Past, but you guys should. It is one of the best games of all time. I promise you it is. Um, and you know, Link to a Link Between Worlds is very inspired by Link to the Past. Right. Um, you guys have played that one, I'm sure, so you guys might know a little bit. All right, well, let's move on. The next, to next one is going to be tough for you, Drew. It might be. We'll see. Next battle. A new challenger approaches. This is a tough one. I made this I really difficult on myself, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Did you expect any of the difficult the difficulty when you were making these lists? Did I? Did I what? Did you, were you expecting this level of difficulty? Like, I, well, like I said, when I was making the list, I was just like in, in autopilot mode. I was just like, what are the greatest games of all time? What are people going to want on this list? Like, I know what they are. I'm going to put them there. And then when I was putting together the matchups, I'm like, I want, I want matchups that will be tough. I want people to really have to make hard decisions here. I think I think you're being very much of a masochist with these things <laughs> for yourself because these are all pairings that specifically you're like, oh god, oh man, this is so terrible, this is so tough, and these are tough. Yeah, but and that's the point, you, though, right? I think you made them like even worse for yourself. You're like, oh, I love this game and I love this game. Let's put them up against each other. Yeah, because these are the 32 choose. greatest games of all time. Like no matter what, they were going to be tough matchups, right? For the most part, there's a few. Like we knew Halo wasn't going to go far. No, I, honestly, I didn't think Silent Hill 2 was going to go far, but that one. So, um, <laughs> like, you know, like, some of these are kind of surprising me majorly. But, uh, oh, we got a donation. 
We got a five dollar donation. Thank you so much to uh, Mahogany. 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 Thank you so much. Fifteen. Um, fifteen dollars. Thank you so much, Mahogany. That's unbelievable. Thank you, man. Guys, if you want to donate Woo! like uh, Mahogany did, go to twitchalerts.com slash donate slash level up show. It's right there on the side. Not only is he a patron, but he's donated multiple times. Yeah. So wait, he is. A patron, he digs right? it. He is a patron. Yeah. Okay. I'm so. pretty sure he's a patron. I could be wrong, but either way, he's donated several times. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. He's a subscriber. I know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. Chrono Trigger versus Eco. I have to go with Chrono Trigger as let's much as I love results. Eco. Um, Shadow of the Colossus is the better of the two, in my yeah, opinion, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. That. And Chrono Trigger, I think, is one of the greatest RPGs of all time. It's up there with Final Fantasy 3 and 6. So is that your answer? I think Chrono Trigger should win this, yeah. It won't result? It won't. No. Not a lot of people probably play. Yeah. up seven and five, four, three, two. Oh, one. it's closer than I thought it would be. Wow. I thought Eco won, yeah. You guys haven't played Chrono Trigger, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not even a question in my mind. You guys haven't played Chrono Trigger. If you played Chrono Trigger, you would have voted for Chrono Trigger. Um, this next one is going to be tough for a lot of people. Yeah. Next one. And is a lot of people are going to be wondering why we put this particular entry versus another one. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of categories like that, but let's see what it is. <laughs> Both of these, like both of these selections, uh, are of series that are excellent series. Grand Theft Auto, we chose five because I do think that five mm -hmm. is probably the it's best the one. Ultimate so far. Yeah, I did not like any Grand Theft Auto game until five came out. Really? I like Vice City. Yeah, a lot. I did not. I, I tried five playing. I, I like Vice City just because I played it with Pat a yeah. lot, so it was cool. Like it was a friend bonding Wait, thing. Is it four? No, it's four. Could you switch that real quick? Yeah, I just realized that. Hold on uh, a sec, guys. We're gonna re-update that to be four. Guys, we're changing Stop. it. Stop through voting. It's too late. Too late, they're voting. Look at them coming in. All right. No. Let's give it a little longer. Revote, guys, if you did it. Uh, if you already did, I mean, because it's Elder Scrolls 4, oh, Oblivion, not 5. I think you can just it might not have changed anything, anything, but make sure you guys vote. Um, so, guys, if you can, vote again. Um, I, Grand Theft Auto, to me, got very boring and repetitive. Never did I ever finish a story besides Vice City. Grand Theft Auto 5 came out, I almost didn't get it, just like the other ones, and I played the living shit out of that game. Yeah. And it's I love fantastic. That I still haven't finished it yet, but I, you know, what I've played, so I, I've loved so far. You have to run to the left. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 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 That's nice. <laughs> I learned something. Um, that said, people are probably surprised we put Elder Scrolls Oblivion and not Skyrim on here. Skyrim was phenomenal. Oblivion paved the path for Skyrim. And to be honest with you, it did affect me a little bit. The, the, the fact that PS3 Sky, Skyrim was such a disaster really leaves a bad taste in my mouth for that entry in the series. The fact that they got it that wrong, mm -hmm. that it was such a mess for a huge fan base, it really hurts, I think, that entry for me. Yeah, but Oblivion kind of, like, went straight for the Xbox 360. Yeah, it was first on Xbox 360 because, uh, you know, it was in the first year. Mm -hmm. Xbox 360 had a year head start. But when Oblivion did come to PS3, they utilized the platform in a good way. Mm -hmm. It performed a little bit better on PS3. So I think that in every way it performed well, but it right. also was an amazing... Uh, At the time, Elder the game, game, it was one of the first... Even though Elder Scrolls games are known to look very pretty at the time, Yeah. Oblivion was one of those first ones that really showcased the new console's highlights on their graphical <laughs> prowess. Yeah. Um, you know, lighting and texturing it was like never we like no one's ever seen before yeah. on those systems, and it was showed off by Oblivion more than anything else. So what are we voting for here? I'm going Elder Scrolls. I'm a big Elder. I'm Scrolls going Elder fan. Scrolls as well. I love GTA. I'm just not well, as big a GTA play, fan. I just play well. Oblivion, yeah. so I can't really comment. I'm big I on really the whole Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. I'm into it. I am going to go with Grand Theft Auto. Okay. I don't no, like you don't, that I'm you saying don't. that. That's yeah, no, I don't like that I'm true. saying if that. If that's what you like, then that's what you like. I mean, But you know what, though? Like, I, There's so much good about Oblivion. Yeah. And I, I the I music possibly, is what does it for me a lot. Right. I might no. possibly have voted for Skyrim because it was more feels. I didn't finish Oblivion. More feels. <laughs> there's more feels than There's Skyrim more feels. Movie. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the poll. Let's go to the poll, guys. Let's go to the results. What do you guys vote for? All right. Don't be surprised if Grand Theft Auto wins. Oh yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. All right, it's new. It's more. Re it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's in everybody's mind. And I mean, God, it's, 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 it's bigger, sold thirty it's, million copies. I mean, it's a bigger franchise. More people played it. It's yeah, this it makes sense. One is it's, going I don't to know what it is. I'm not even looking at them you, anymore. You keep you don't saying that. No, every time. No, every no. time. Every okay, time. Like, this, this you're right. This one's gonna. Suck. No, dude. The next one fucking sucks. Go ahead, Mark. It's okay. I'm lying. 
All right, let's see what's up next, guys. I'm saying it's not true. I'm saying you keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You were saying? The one after oh, no, I know. <laughs> World of Warcraft versus Uncharted. Oh, now, my obviously, God. World of Warcraft on here because it changed MMORPGs. Oh, my God, completely. It is still the only one that is a dying of force that can do a All of us here, I think I'm, only Mark has played it. Have you played yeah, it? Yeah, you are the only World one that's Warcraft? played it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you should be talking one. about this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I got up to kill Jaden in... Burning Crusade, I raided through Burning Crusade. It took up way too much of my time. Honestly, you don't even need to play World of Warcraft. Just look at what it's done, how long it sustained itself for. Yeah. They still haven't been able to replace it. They're still updating it. It's because the support is just genius from them, man. The support's, the support's good in places. Mm -hmm. The balance is sometimes really slow coming. They can be very quick to nerf things sure. and not like fix afterwards they'll like over nerf things way too much but just look at the staying power every other every mmorpg since world of warcraft has said oh this is gonna kill world of warcraft and then it gets knocked on its ass but that uncharted no, though nothing compares to world of warcraft it's not let me it, make a case world, for uncharted. World, world of warcraft is a pop culture phenomenon i agree yeah so it was warcraft. uncharted 2 is the okay, and that's not on here. It's the very first of the cinematic adventure games. But am I right? That's the first one that really tried to do a cinematic adventure game where you feel like you're in a pulp action film. I don't know. Control an action one to hero. Try it, but it's the first one to succeed. Nail it. Yeah. I mean, there is not one dull moment in that game. It is a, uh, it's, it's it's a perfect right 10 now. from really first minute. I to, love it. I love that game. It's a, it's a 10 from the minute you start to the minute it ends. It is a non-stop awesome game. I didn't play the either The difference one. for me is so. World of Warcraft. I looked at it. I know a lot of people that play it. I understand what it does, but I never looked at it and was like, man, I wish I was playing that. I agree. But the first but time I saw the gameplay from Uncharted 2, I was like, I gotta get a PS3. Yeah, <laughs> and I did. Yeah. for that reason. Yeah, well, I remember the advertisements. You know, like they were, you know, be on TV and it'd be a guy playing the game, and the girlfriend would come in and be like, "Yeah, what movie is this, is this that you're watching?" And yeah, like, yeah. No, this isn't a movie. This is <laughs> this is a game. That was. I mean, the helicopter scene alone. Yeah, the helicopter yeah, scene with, with the, 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 the building, the building falling apart. I and and I, I think so I think though that has that's kind of become a, a thing we've seen some backlash against, especially in the, with the likes of Call of Duty and the well, because there's too win. much of it. Yeah. yeah, that's true. It just they they got it right. They just they got it right. And let's not neglect that Uncharted 2 had a pretty awesome online yeah. multiplayer mode. Yeah, it I did. think the combat was really good too. Yeah, really. Uh, it's this is for me. It's got to be Uncharted because I never played WoW. But I mean, I, never I really either one. But I think World of Warcraft should win. Okay. I, I I will say like if you go up to a random person on the street and say, "Have you heard of World of Warcraft?" You'll probably say, hey, say they'll probably should say should yes. Minecraft have been on this list? Then? Uncharted. I, I, I know what you I mean. No, I mean Minecraft. Just is because really it's a cool. phenomenon that everybody knows of. But the, it's but not just a phenomenon. World of Warcraft Pulse. isn't just a phenomenon. Like if Pulse. you walk up to people, all right, see, we just want to we want to move on from this. Is yeah, let's move on. Let's move Wait, on. Think, what were you gonna say? Like if you walk up, to I'm not saying that like, was bad, and I'm not saying uh, World like you walk, you walk up to somebody like. Oh, what? What? Like, that's, that's, that's not surprising. That was really we're, surprising, we're actually. Places. Like, if you walk up to I, somebody, I am like... I'm very honestly, surprised by this. If people... like The people that like World of Warcraft aren't watching us right now because they're playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> I didn't know that you guys... <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are very much underestimating how good of a game Uncharted 2 is and not, the fan base that it has. That yeah, one game of the year really almost everywhere it has a 96 uh, Metacritic. It is one of the best My thing is, I was really banking on more people that like World of Warcraft to be in the room. Because mm -hmm. the people that do like World of Warcraft would have voted for that over any other game ever. Okay. It's an addiction. It has a lot of people that play it that I'm sure watch our show. I mean, I don't I have, don't want to go to the next one. We need to go to the next one. We this is to... the one I thought we were doing before. This is the worst, this is the worst one on the list. This is the worst one this on the list. This is going to be a painful one for me. Okay. Let's find out what it is, guys. I next up, battle cool. between... So it was a lot. Super Mario 64 versus Mass like Effect 2. I can hear our chat room cringing right I now. I don't know. I feel like my wife just broke What is going on in the chat, by the way? Are people enjoying this right now? Yeah, everyone's participating. Everybody's talking about it. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad people are enjoying this. Um, Greg's still All right, you know what? I'm going to vote. vote. I'm going I'm, I'm to get cheers. this out there. You guys already know this. I have never played a Mass Effect game. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Um, Actually, I played about an hour of the first one. So I'll be honest, it, it didn't really like, grab me. No, the first one's not where it's going to grab you. Okay. I need to I need to go back to it. I know, I know. You just got to play for the second one. Huh? Can I play for the second one? I wouldn't advise it. 
Oh jeez, I don't. The first one was a fun ride, honestly. I don't. I'm very scared to see what happens. Right I, I, I didn't see what the no. I saw answer. that it wasn't very close. I think. So I, think so, I think Super Mario is gonna take it on nostalgia effect. I do not. I think. I think there's too many people that are too young that watch our show that don't know the greatness of Mario and why this is so important. I've never even played Mass Effect 2, I, and I, I can't imagine Super Mario 64 I'm going to be this. mad Super Mario 64 if, should win this. Right. There is no reason the Mass Effect should win this. I, I don't think there, no. there's any reason. I you love, love Mass, Mass Effect, Effect, right? I love Mass Effect. Super Mario 64 is like one of the best games I've ever played. It's the first <laughs> 3D game ever! So right. pretty much. It was the first 3D modeled Major scale triple A so, game. I will never forget it because I, you know my dad. My dad is very hard to please. He, he you do you do not yeah. impress my dad easily. No, yeah. no, you don't. I we got I got a Nintendo sixty four for Christmas. He had no idea what it is. He's like he, he, my mom gets me his stuff. He's just like oh cool you know get it for them and then yeah. he, he takes you know yeah I got it for you too. But uh, right. but we plug it did in. You like it? Oh yeah, that's my problem. I, I put it in. Put it in Super Mario sixty four. He sits down. He's not paying attention. He looks at the screen. I don't know. He couldn't believe his eyes. I don't want yeah. Like he could not believe what happened. He's like, this is this is this is changes everything. Like yeah. he's like, I can't believe this. Like you are Thank you are you looking around. Out. Like you are controlling a camera right now. He's like, he couldn't believe it. He's like, mm -hmm. my dad who doesn't play games, who doesn't this care about this all, he's never like, this, happened this, before. this is this is unbelievable. It never happened before. This is in my house. Yeah. yeah. This is a game <laughs> I can still religiously play. Yeah. Oh yeah. How many years later? Sure. This is a game changing. I remember game. sitting around as a kid with my cousin and taking turns with my cousin, my brother, and I going through Mario levels and then just giggling. I'm going to put this out here. Yeah. It was hilarious. Not only is it my video game of all time, it is heralded as the video game of all time by many people. Yes, this is up there. For when sure. this loses, <laughs> Super Mario 64 versus Oh god! Oh god! Alright, let's look at the poll results! This right, is let's going to results. hurt, Drew. Why? What do you want? This is we want the hurt. results. We want Super no. Mario 64. No, just go. Just I do mean, it. Just do it. I understand. Rip, rip off the band I was about to say the same thing. We know each other too much. Oh, yes! Oh my god, yes! Thank you the fucking Lord, Thank yes. you. Thank you. My faith in wow. humanity has been restored. Thank you Thank all. you, guys. Oh, man. All oh, right. my god. I, I feel tough. a lot better right now. Listen, though. With this done... There's still one more in the in round one. Mass Effect Rick, two. I have never. It's fucking awesome. Wait, wait, wait. What? Say that again. Mass Effect two is like. If oh, it's you, good. If one. No, no. No. <laughs> it's That's not, understated. It's not good. It's great. <laughs> yeah. And the end is like. Just, That's not good. It's I would have understood. Great. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Like if it won, you, I would have been like. Yeah, but I get it, because that oh. game is... Should I pull out a Pterodactyl Angel right now? We no. actually got the 250. Hell yeah, dude. No, let, let's do that after round one. Yeah, after round, round one. one. After round one. one. I didn't think we were going to get 250 well, tonight, so well, that's why I want to do well, Pterodactyl. Because we got, we got, uh, we got we one have more two more. round one. We got one more round one, guys. Two more. Two more. No, two, more. two more. Two more. Two more round, two more round one. one. Then I would do Pterodactyl Andrew, and then we'll take a short break just to recover. All Hello, right. mate. Let's see what's up next. Pre order canceled. New challenge is approaching. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, Super I know Metroid answer, versus hands down. Castlevania? Yeah. I know my answer, hands down, and it's going to piss mm. off a lot of people. I don't know mine at all. Super Metroid was the game that changed the genre. Is that the one where they revealed that she was a woman? I think so. I, I think that's the one where they revealed it, right? Thank yes. you for the follow. More so, it was. Just the Thank penultimate you. of that type of genre. Metroid was the game that kind of like started it all for that type of like, hence Metroidvania. This is the perfect matchup. This is the this, description that people give the game. This, this is, these are two like juggernauts that were around at really similar times. I mean, you can't. I My vote goes to Castlevania. Okay. Um, I like Super Metroid. Super I like all the Metroid. Castlevania is But awesome. Symphony of the Fucking Night was the tits. <laughs> like, out of all the Castlevania games, the tits. <laughs> it, was, it was the tits. It, that is a quote that goes on the back of the box right there. <laughs> <laughs> this out of all the Castlevania the games, <laughs> this one is the tits. Yes. Um, no, seriously, it is. Like, the story is great. The, I mean, even there's so much backtracking, but you don't give two shits about it. Yeah. There's never a part that you feel like you're grinding for no reason. You can change into a fucking wolf if you want to, for God's sakes, or a bat. Like... I, the game is the tits, and that's my argument. I think Super Metroid should win. Why? 
I mean, that is, we got, what do we have now? We have a Metroidvania, so I think this is a, this is a very right. funny. Because it happened to come first, plus you can't say, you, you can't say Castle, Castle Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't say that, it doesn't work. Metroidvania. Right. Metroid is first. No, but, I mean, I think that a part, a part of it actually is that if she was a Metroid woman. Metroid came first. Mm. And that she was a woman. I think that's a big With deal. big boobs, therefore it's first. sexist, therefore it needs our I mean, what? It's no! What? Cool. You don't even see her boobs! <laughs> you never that was, this boobs. is a female warrior, and that is all there is to it. It did not sexualize her in she any way. She kicked ass. Yeah. She, she just did. kicks ass. She did. I think Man, I love that Metroid. Fans are going to probably go with Super Metroid. I think I'm with you on Symphony of the Night. I just yeah. like Castlevania's lore a lot Symphony better. of the Night is great. Okay. I like the. I like the <laughs> what? Even, even. That's it, that's it. I like the two. Alright, go to the polls. Let's go to the polls, Super guys. Metroid. Super Metroid. Yeah. It was awesome. It was the tits, it was the tits though. It was the tits. Super Metroid. It was the tits. Ah! No, I'm okay with it. It's, it's Super Metroid is fucking it's awesome. It's a tough, yes. it's a tough answer. And I feel like there's a lot of people that just never played Castlevania. Honestly, the only the only reason that swayed me to Castlevania is because I like, like, Dracula and all that shit. And, like, mm -hmm. Super Metroid was, was so rad. I still play Super Metroid. They've got a few donations tonight, guys. Wow, nice. really? That's awesome. I think Aaron, who I think is Mahogany, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong on that, but uh -huh. he's, he's the guy that donated 15, and we also did Tyler, Tyspin. Oh. Donated another $20 to our show tonight. Wow, thank you, dude. Thank you. And also, thank you to these Twitch followers from Age Guitar, Christoph Chaser, Lamansky, uh, Give Me Some, Devlon Patrick, Tetra Nova, Mr. Taylor Made, Killer Dark, Mig Monster, Baraza, Robo Taction, Mr. Flinchy, the Matrix 77 and Lava Person. Thank you guys so much for all those Twitch arts. Keep them coming, coming. And if you want to donate like Tyler and Aaron did, go to twitchalerts.com slash donate slash level up show. Or, more importantly, probably. Yeah, better, actually, way to do it. The Patreon. Yeah. Um, go to patreon.com slash the level up network. Um, the reason and... Tyler didn't become a patron is because he's already a patron. Right. He's a patron of $50 a month, and he just donated another 20 so, as you guys can see, Tyler is a major supporting force on yes. our, our show, and we cannot tell you how much we appreciate that. We appreciate all of our donators. Aaron, you're another one, man. Thank you so much, Mahogany, <laughs> for your donation of $15. Rick is so mad about Mass Effect. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I don't care. Super Mario 64, man. All right, let's move on to the last Hold battle on. in round Hold one. Brad, deal with it. I got, I got some hunger going on. Next up, new challengers approaching. Oh no! Not neither, the Battle of the Fours! Neither of these games is game of all time. No. Let me get that out there. But, this is fucking hard. Yeah. I love, you know, I don't think you understand, I fucking love Resident Evil 4. Call of Duty but, is better. It's, it's, right. it's, it's the more impactful game. I'm it's, sorry. It is I'm so sorry. Dude, the moment, I don't fucking care, spoiler, when the nuke blows up I and know. you have to force your way out of the helicopter. I think it's already spoiled. It's I don't sad. care. <laughs> Dude, like, I, nope, we just got another donation. That hurt so bad. I was, I remember at this time I was still living at my father's house and I, I had this desk and I had a smaller TV. It was like maybe 20 inch, 22 inch. And I was sitting there and I'm playing it. And my father comes running up the stairs because I'm sitting there, and just like I yelled earlier, as soon as that goes up, I'm playing like, all right, just like every other game and every other movie, you're flying off. Like, yeah, we got this. I got him back to the chopper and time. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh like, shit! I'm like, no! Like, I'm freaking out. Oh god, we're going. My down. father runs upstairs, and he's like, "What's wrong? Everything okay?" I'm like, "He died. They blew him the fuck up." Like, I, <laughs> Oh my Nailed god. Uh, Resident Evil 4 though. Resident Evil 4 was fucking fantastic. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 though. We're just like going nuts. Oh my god! Plus Resident Evil 4 though. <laughs> I mean, it, the story, and I'm talking about just single This player. is the best Resident Evil, right? Easily, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. This Easily. is the most fun Resident Evil. It gets a little bit away from the heart. I know, exactly. It That's does. what people have a problem with, right? But I like that, because I'm not huge in the heart. Honestly, I loved the remake for Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube. I thought to that me? was the best Resident Evil. This this changed the direction. This is a right. Resident Evil 1 game. is kind of like Insidious, whereas Resident Evil 4 is kind of like the jump scare type movie. <clears throat> okay, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I like, do. that's what it is. And I actually, I, I, I'm not a big fan of horror movies. Yo, but and, and not even games. I just don't care. 
But Resident Evil 4 did that. The reason Call of Duty wins is not only was the story amazing for it, mm -hmm. the multiplayer. Yeah. The multiplayer. When also, we got Pat, the fuck out of World War II. That's the first thing right? they did, like, kill streaks, right? That's what I was going to bring up. They got kill streaks. And they had customizing classes. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that was the dope. moment that me and Pat were watching the trailer. I remember I was watching with Pat's house. He was like, "You need to see this." Call of Duty and we watched the trailer and showed the guy set the standard for um. Uh, you die multiplayer, and you automatically drop the grenade. Who the fuck does that in video games? Yeah. Up until that point, nobody. Yeah, you're right. They were the first ones. Enough. Who the fuck lets you die and then? Stay alive with a pistol. That never happened. Yeah, true. Uh, also, awesome we, we got to move on. Interaction. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thing at the Let's top. look at the poll oh. results, guys. We're clearly for Call of Duty 4 here, but they're both excellent games. I wouldn't be surprised if Resident Evil 4 it's gonna, wins. It's gonna lose, I think. But Call of Duty. It's close. Oh, oh, oh my God! Wow. Upset. Oh my I God! Know, upset. I don't know about it. It is an upset to me. Resident Evil 4 was a solid game. Just beginning to end. I feel like the problem is that too many people are burned out on Call of Duty, so you just don't want it to win anything. And, and I think that's part of the Wait, issue, too. You, Call of that's Duty as a bad. name and as a no, franchise has you're not gonna gone through fatigue no. at this Resident point. Resident Evil 6. You, you, gotta re you gotta remember, Resident, Resident Evil, Evil sucks. sucks. I haven't been updating the back bracket. Resident Evil 6. Stop. That's all I'm gonna keep saying. So, so we had <laughs> we had Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, right? Evil 7. It's just, guys, Sound of the Just... Super Mario World. Trying to remember everything that won right now. I'm updating the bracket, guys. All right, guys. We had the Legend of Zelda versus Red Dead. Red Dead won that. Yes. Yeah. Don't try to put Zelda there. Uh, Eco won versus uh, Chrono Trigger. Unfortunately, we had GTA, GTA, GTA 5. Five. Then we had Uncharted. Uncharted. No, World of Warcraft. Shut up. <laughs> we had Uncharted 2: <laughs> Among Thieves. And we had Mario. Super Mario 64. Thank God. We had Super, Super Metroid. Metroid. Idiots. And finally, we just recently had Resident Evil, Resident 4. Evil 4. You guys are dumb. One of the closest matches of the, of the night for Resident Evil 4. I don't understand Can you open up that bracket though. on your computer? It I was do. a better I, game. No, yeah. Where do people keep people say? Keep getting posted in the chat room. Post a it's exclamation divided, point pretty topic. much. Honestly, Mercenaries in Resident Evil 4 was fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. And it was, I, I burned like so that. much time in that. But Call of Duty had the bigger impact. So wow, now, we are so. really running behind. We are, we are, we're gonna do it all now. Do it live. It's okay. It's a Saturday. Kristen actually said this is okay. Okay, that was my biggest worry. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving on to I the next know. round after this commercial break. Can I use your phone? Or should I get my charger? Uh, quick commercial you can break. Use my phone if you need to. Commercial break. Commercial. The are we secret? on commercial? Yeah. Okay. The secret word is upset. We got another oh, donation hey, by the way. Give me a second to From get who? commercial. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take a break here. Did you hear about secret word? No. So your word is upset. Upset, yeah. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> this is some this is some crazy results this is here. Hurting me. Yeah. This is awesome though. This is really turning out well. Yeah, people are loving this. Hens. I just mean it as far as everybody's enjoying it. You guys are enjoying it, which is awesome. You mask kiss. Yeah. You can't make it on without cracking a few eggs, Mike. That's right. Oh man, what do we got first here? Last of Us vs. Bioshock. We don't have any, obviously, we don't have any videos anymore for each one, because that's not like I could predict the future. Right. I so. caught you red-handed, you dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> My name is up. Mark, and I'm <laughs> 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 Is that not locked? <laughs> Alright, let's just wait for Kristen to come back, and then we'll, we'll start back up again. Rick said, I'm not letting Mass Effect go. I don't need nostalgia. I need Commander Shepard. <laughs> and then he said, also, Pokemon and Cod got screwed. He yeah. needs Commander Shepard just like Garrus needs Commander Shepard. Don't turn off that light, Kristen. I don't get that. It provides a little bit of light. I'm making it. reference to the fact that in Mass Effect, you can bang everyone. Mm. What? <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Never mind. <laughs> I was confused for a second there. I was not. I was trying to throw a bar. Let's bring it back here. Welcome Thanks, back, guys. This is the Level Up Show. Up Thanks, Mike. Episode 59, and we are doing a tournament for the greatest game of all time. This is the first annual Level Up Bowl. We're done round one, the longest round, of course. Now we go to the shorter rounds, um, and this has been awesome so far. But yeah, unfortunately, you know, twice as fast. Now that we're done round one, I can no longer have videos for each game because I can't predict the future and know what you guys were going to vote for. But, so we'll just have to announce each one uh, as we go along. But uh, real quick, guys, if you're new to the stream, we got 263 people in the room. That is so awesome. Thank you to Puss. Oh. 
Yep. John for donating. Did he? He donated twenty bucks. Oh, oh wow! Awesome. Nice. Thank, Thank you, you so dude. much, uh, yeah, John. Pterodactyl, by the way. Oh, Pterodactyl Andrew for two hundred fifty in the room. Pterodactyl Andrew for starting off round two. Yeah! This is this is all is that your painful like. Yes, I was letting. Why did a journey there. win? Yes, <laughs> exactly, dude. That was I. I felt how. Angry and upset. I'm letting out some that. emotion there. Also, Feel thank that. you to these uh, newest Twitch charts from Chris Prime, Seanical, A Phantom Torn, hey, Electro hey. Waves, La, La Machina, HY, HG, Emerald Archer, Ether 09, Golden Dragon, Flying Dutchman, Sample Airplane, and The Coming Dawn. Thank you so much, guys. And each guitar. Um, we're at 200, and we well, just changed real quick. But guys, thank you so much for coming in. As all those guys did, make sure you follow the show at twitch.tv slash show. You can also heart us live from PlayStation right now. All you gotta do is hit the little heart button. That way you get notifications when our shows go live. We're also very active on Twitter at the Level Up Network, level spelled L-V-L. And YouTube is one of the most important things we can tell you about right now, because we are doing a lot of cool off-show content that you can't see <clears> on Twitch. Gotta go to youtube.com slash the Level Up Show, level spelled L-V-L. Subscribe while you're there, and we will shout you out of course. So the uh, screen that just says versus. Okay. Sure. Um, and then, of course, no, we're not. all wearing... What? You go. No, no, it's, it's, it's not that. It, oh. Don't do anything. I have I have him set up. Um, <laughs> I did. I had this plan. I did not think forward. All right. Also, guys, go to uh, the t-shirt shop, the levelupshow.spreadshirt.com. There's Mike's t-shirt right there, the yellow and blue. You can do that. You can customize them. There's also hoodies and muscle shirts. And then finally, Patreon. We got one patron tonight from Aaron. Um, thank you so much, man. Anybody else who wants to support the show and get rewards in return, go to patreon.com slash leveluptnetwork. All right. Let's move on. We got... Round two now. First up is The Last of Us versus Bioshock. So we have to put it in there ourselves now. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what do you guys think here? Last of Us. Last I mean, that's going to be at the top. Yeah, I, as much as I love Bioshock, I think this one has got to be yeah, Last I love of Us. Bioshock there, there's, for... there's really, this isn't really a contest. Yeah, I think The Last of Us is going to make it to the very end of this competition for sure. I don't know if it's going to win, but I do think The Last of Us will be. And I think it's one of the Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and it's also very fresh in people's minds. It's obviously going to be one of the top ones. Um, the Last of Us, it, you know, it continued Naughty Dog's rise towards one of the best developers of all time. Really, I mean, like yeah. they just—they're. It seems like you can't you can't defeat them now. It's like you, they can't make a mistake. It's like everybody keeps They're expecting like them. To, at this point. You, you keep expecting them to, to fall finally. It's like when are they going to trip? But they they don't. And like even Uncharted. Four. Everyone, when the whole Amy Hennig thing was happening, everyone's here we go. They're finally falling apart, but now everybody's back on board fully. Yeah, it's like they're that's. I, I think. I think that's a really great success story. Yeah. Because. They understand the pressure on themselves. Sometimes you get to a point where oh we're so successful we don't need to second guess ourselves now. When I think Naughty Dog as a whole realized, we've got a process. We're very critical of ourselves. We can't stop doing that because this is what makes something great. We can't take shortcuts. Yeah. And uh, I think other developers have taken shortcuts after mm -hmm. they've become successful. They ramp up to a like unsustainable staff members, and they fall apart because of it. Let's see if the uh, the viewers agree. Greatest game of all time, guys. The Last of Us versus Bioshock. Round two, first That's match. I do. Pretty commanding lead, yeah. Yeah. Seventy-four percent for the Last of Us. Very good. What was the game that only got seven percent last round? <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was versus Super Mario World. I think it was Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it should have been a blowout like that. that but <laughs> that, was <an> <laughs> that, that was just the devastating. You, I think you should have put Final Fantasy VI versus Final Fantasy VII. I didn't want to do that. I I, I, I wanted them. To, I wanted like the Final did. Fantasies to have their own but spot because I really thought Final Fantasy VI had a chance. versus Castlevania, and that's yeah. like the same thing. So. Yeah. All right, um, let's move on to the second battle here. We've got Okami versus Final Fantasy VII. Mm. All right, I think Final Fantasy VII. I mean, I know Okami. You seem like you really love Okami, but... Final Fantasy VII. Okami beat Ocarina of Time. I know. Did it? Yeah. It did, didn't it? No. Wait, what did it beat? No, Okami, Okami beat Journey. It beat Journey. Oh, Journey. I was going to say, that's no, there's no... no, no, my bad. no Okami was... Free. Even more reason. Go down! I do not want you going anywhere, Okami. You took I a part. Journey! Thank you for the follow. Um, I don't... Okami was great, but Final Fantasy VII is a definitive gaming experience. Yeah. Journey was great, yep. but 
it, it wasn't this. It was amazing for like the time that you put into it and the experience that you got out of it. Yeah. But Okami just had so much more to offer in longevity. And Final Fantasy VII has more to offer than me, right? Mm-hmm. Well, no, I mean, like, I'm saying, like, going back to Okami, Okami versus Germ. Oh, okay. No, so, but this one right so, here, what are you going to focus I, on? I don't think Okami... Final Fantasy VII. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a timeless I, I don't, game. I don't think Okami can compete with some of these other, like, bigger games. Yeah. All right, like, let's, honestly, let's look at the Okami, results. If it was Okami versus Super Metroid, I'd still go Super Metroid. So, Okami versus Final Fantasy VII. Yes. Yeah. Pretty cool. These ones aren't upsets at all. Final Fantasy VII with uh, 75% of the votes. Final Fantasy VII's going to be a juggernaut. That's going to be towards the end. I think that's going to make it to the final round. Yeah, it's going to be a final four. Is it, is it going to be Final Fantasy VII versus The Last of Us? That's going to oh be really God. tough. That's or interesting. Final Fantasy VII versus Super Mario 64. I never asked for this. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. That or... Last oh my god. <laughs> Next, new challenges approaching. GoldenEye yeah, 007 good. Good. versus Batman Arkham Asylum. Arkham hands down. Well, yeah. I think Arkham hands down as yeah. well. Wah! I Arkham think Arkham will age better. De- de- definitive yeah. Batman Arkham, Batman Arkham will age better with time, and that's what we're getting to get. Oh, we already know that. I mean, God. 007, GoldenEye is... GoldenEye awful. was great it's as a It's not even a good game anymore. <laughs> it's not, honestly. It's it it's aged like milk. First of all, first-person shooters <laughs> on the N64, <laughs> they don't work. At the time, it was like, okay. you like that. <laughs> but now that we have dual stick controls, it's like going, trying to go back to one stick controls with the C buttons. It's, it's like, garbage. it's garbage. I'm going to strafe and turn. Oh, God, what am I doing? I can't handle this. This is a healthy move in real life. It's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. <laughs> but it's one of the greatest games of all time, obviously. No, but... but... Don't be surprised if GoldenEye takes this be Pokemon because of nostalgia. It, for it to be Pokemon, I mean, I would think Pokemon would nostalgia. be Batman Arkham Asylum, right? It's like, uh, this might be another upset here. Mm-hmm. Let's see the results, guys. What did you guys vote for? Don't be surprised. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't be surprised. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate oh, you. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. All right. I told you. It was close, though. It was a yeah. close one. All right. Batman Arkham Asylum moving on to round three. Man. Close one, though, there. All right. Well, let's the one of the biggest upsets I've ever seen. Metal Gear Solid 3 beat out Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time earlier, and now it's facing Silent Hill. There's, there's no, no way no it doesn't win. My mind, yeah. If it beats so- Zelda Ocarina of Time, there's no way it doesn't beat Silent Hill 2. Right. Right? I would think so, but... I I, yeah, I know. I mean, you would think so, right? <laughs> but at this point, it's like, I do not know what to imagine with you guys. I have been let down before. <laughs> <laughs> um, so clearly, we are, we are all... My with... faith is in humanity is gone. Right. We're all yeah, with yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 been... Snake Eater here? Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, but we got to give time for people to vote. We, we, we can't just move on here. Listen to guys. So, no, we guys, we decided. Yeah, we're, 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 I'll, I'll read off some of the followers. We got a lot yes. more followers recently, and also YouTube subscriptions. So thank you to I. Ooh, what's that say? Uh, yeah, uh, DCG uh, seven hundred two up a little night. Smith boy, Danny boy owns. Taz650, Alfredo, twi- uh, not the Twitch hard, he subscribed on YouTube. Thank you, Alfredo. Oh, cool, thank you. Uh, I3 Uz Kill, J Man, The Real Gones, Super Big Boss, and Tafan, I think is how you say your name. Thank you so much for all those Twitch hearts, guys. Keep them coming. Give them a little more time. They're clearly still Whoa, coming in. Look at all these votes. Yeah, still a lot of votes coming in here. Is this going to be the most votes in the so far? Hey, guys, did you realize that we're over 5,000 in the chat? Just because oh, people that's are voting. Insane. You know, yeah. all those votes count as the, comments. The votes count as comments? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, well, when we did the level uppies, we had, what was it, like 10,000 comments? It was right, ridiculous. That's it was absurd. <laughs> it was <laughs> absurd. All right, I think that's enough. They're coming in very slowly that now. That was like my first night, I think, too. It's like popcorn kernels. Once you hear three second pause, you open it up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. MGS3 versus Silent Hill 2. What you guys vote for? There's still comments. Oh, my God. It's very close, too. That's why she's waiting. It's very close. Is it? Yeah, and they're, and they're still voting. And they're still voting. If it's still close, you wait until there's a definitive, like, you know, winner. Don't let it tie. There's a winner. Okay. This is, I can't believe this is close. I cannot believe this is freaking close. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? Do you guys like Silent Hill 2 that much? It's the, I, I think Silent Hill 2 makes an argument for the definitive, like, horror, horror game. game. Yeah. I agree. It I, is it is the gold standard for horror games. What, up against Metal Gear Solid Three and Ocarina of Time. I'm not, which I'm not Metal saying Metal Gear Solid Three beats. I'm not saying Metal Gear Solid Three isn't like better than than Silent Hill Two or like a greater mm. game, but Silent Hill Two 
Like, you have to understand, like, why people are voting for it. Yeah, I understand. No, I, I get it. I, I don't do. like this one. Let's move on to the next one. We got Super Mario World versus Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this is kind of like earlier, isn't it? Uh, In a way? No, not quite. Red Dead Redemption went up against Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past earlier. So it's close. But this, it, there's a difference here. Link to the Past, not a lot of people played it, just as a lot of people probably didn't play Super Mario World here because there's a lot of young people. But it doesn't matter. The name Mario is all you need to hear. And I think that's what mattered earlier. I mean, versus Final Fantasy VI, Super Mario World got 93%. Pokemon. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when, when we're talking about upsets, all you have to do is just say, remember Pokemon. <laughs> remember, remember the Pokemon Red and Blue. That really was a bitch, Oh my man. god, I can't believe that. I, can't I, I still think that Super Mario World will win this. I, I think. Thank I think you for the should. follow. Thank you for all those follows, guys. We'll read those off a little later. I, I think it's gotta be Super Mario World. I, I still think these guys will vote for Super Mario World. I hope. I hope it's so. Mario. Really we, the, but don't don't forget, you have Mario 64 in the line. That's true so, as well. So we, we've still got, we got two chances for Mario to win. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's move on, guys. Let's see what the results are. Let's get to 300 viewers. Let's get to 300. That'd be sweet. Oh, you're missing it. We get to 300 the right way. <laughs> the right oh my god, it's closer than I thought it would be. Oh my god. But it's okay, it's okay guys. It's okay. It's okay. I don't even know We made it through this, okay. Super Mario World is still in the running. Red Dead Redemption is still a solid game. Yeah, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but if you're voting for Red Dead Redemption, I'm assuming that you just never played Super Mario World. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be, right? Like, There's no way. Alright, next up we got Eco versus Grand Theft Auto V. I don't care about this one either way. Um, Neither one's gonna go. This to one's gonna be. Time. This one could be interesting. I think it'll be good. Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. Down. I think Not it's gonna a lot be a shutout. Eco. Yeah, this is gonna be a shutout. For me, it's Eco actually. I like. I know it is, but yeah. I'm saying I think it's gonna be a shutout. I think Grand Theft Auto Five will win this, but I don't think it's gonna be as close as, as far away as you think. I think it's gonna be sixty forty. You can tell. You can tell by how interested people are on certain games based off the number of votes. Mm -hmm. so they're just one of They're coming in. Like no, you, you don't understand. The last game. Okay. No, they're, they're coming in. No, they're coming. People are, if they're voting on one, they're going to vote on all. You know, yeah. I think. Uh, I think it's going to wow. be... <laughs> yeah, wow. I think it's going to be 60-40. I think GTA V will win 60-40 here. We're taking bets now. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I think Eco has got a, a bigger hold on this audience than we think it does. We're taking over-unders now? <laughs> yeah. But uh, is everybody else here GTA V? Am I the only one that would vote for Eco here? Uh, out of the two of these, I, I would probably say GTA V. Okay. Yeah. Me too. I just never played Eco, so. Okay. I played it a little bit. I don't think GTA V is the greatest game of all time, so I don't care about this one at all. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's look at the results. We got three seconds before the pop. You know what I mean? What do you mean three seconds before the pop? That means there was a three second barrier before a vote again. So. When you make popcorn, you're supposed to listen for it, and when you hear three seconds without popping, it's like, Durr. Durr. <laughs> all right. Oh, Okay, not quite as close as I thought. 71 I thought be out. All right, uh, yes, you guys clearly voted for GTA 5. I thought it'd be a little closer than that, but I understand it. Um, Eco wasn't played by near as many people as Grand Theft Auto 5. This one is going to be very, very, very stressful for me. Grand Theft Auto 5 won that, so let's move on to the next one. We got Uncharted 2 versus Super Mario 64. This could be a, an upset here. This, you guys it's underestimated Uncharted 2 earlier, so. It's going to hurt. I, I, you know how much I love Uncharted 2. Super Mario 64 should win this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It should win this. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> this might be an upset. <laughs> yeah. It might be. Did Mario, did Mario only win by so much last time, too? Yeah, it, it, it won. Super Mario 64 was close. It was close. It wasn't Mass Effect 2. I, I don't know. Uncharted, the thing is, we're on PlayStation, and we do have a lot of PlayStation viewers, and Uncharted has become so synonymous with PlayStation, and there's but clearly Mario, a Mario, and this one's... I'm just trying to say why I think this, there's a potential here oh, I know. to see yeah, an upset. Sure. I, I don't want to. I think it should be Super Mario 64 as well, and I love Uncharted 2, but... I give it a little bit yeah. longer, because I, mean, I want to make sure we get the right version here. Super Mario 64 was another definitive game game experience yeah. growing up. Uh, like I said, it changed everything. It, it changed gaming, so... I yeah. really don't want to know the answer to this. It, it's hurting me. Well, oh, we got a little bit slowing down. Slowing down. It's going on. Still going, though. Still going. We'll give it a little What's bit longer. Going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, I haven't missed the beat. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think you can reveal it now, Kristen. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves versus Super Mario 64. What did you guys vote for? I'm predicting a, maybe an upset here. Oh, no. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh! It's an upset. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, okay. my God. Oh. Oh. 
A hundred votes. A hundred votes. It doesn't uh, get closer than that. Oh that's my like, god. That's almost a third of our viewers. That shows how much people like Uncharted 2. It really I does. Yeah, it's really hate how close that was. You. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was close. That was freaking close. All right, let's put that in. Un uh, not Uncharted. Super Mario 64 making it to round three. Fuck. All right, the last oh, one in round god. two. We Ooh, got this is good too. Super Metroid versus Resident Evil 4. Whoa! Oh, oh, got so many it. people. No! Yes! No! <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah! Apparently, Gre uh, Rick just doesn't like Mario 64. Really? Yeah, he just ha doesn't want to win anything. Interesting. It's gonna go to the very end. I Rick, I'm gonna say the same thing that my mother said to me. I love you, but that doesn't mean I have to like you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, that was harsh. Right, let's give our uh, our opinion on this here. Do we think Super Metroid or Resident Evil? I think Super Metroid. Metroid. Um, Super Metroid. Um, I, I think, think, I think Resident Evil is going to win. I think Resident Evil is going to win. Not what you think, think Super Metroid Super wants to win. to win. What do you want to win? I want Super Metroid to win. I yeah. want Super Metroid to win. I want Super Metroid as well. It, it, it defines I want Resident Evil 4 to win because what it is. Kill that Castlevania. What a bitch. And kill that Castlevania. That's true. I, I oh, know yeah, you upset some people. That's true. You fucking cry about it. But I still... <laughs> 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 I, I for sure. Resident Evil 4 is great and all, but I don't know. I don't think it's the greatest game of all time. Like, no, Resident Evil 4 was not. a fantastic but game, and it was great to play. But but that's, that's, but I think Super Metroid, I think Super Super Metroid could be a contender. I think it's a contender for sure. I do. Absolutely is. Alright, let, let's see the results. What do you guys think? Super Metroid versus the Resident the Evil 4. Fans. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 won. I told you, Resident Evil. I told you it was gonna win. No, I didn't. I'm not saying it should. It how, many people, it win, how many people watching have actually played? Oh, right. well, I know. There's right. kids yeah, here that true. were not alive when this oh, I know. was a relevant console. That's true. All I will say is that if you guys didn't play Super Metroid 4, I think or Super Metroid, you don't understand. Right? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> you, you don't understand. Gravy biscuits. It's not just that we like. We don't really necessarily like the IPs. We're talking about the games as they were when they came out at the time, and also they we were have just Wii U's. dominant, and there, there's really no comparing them. So. And Drew has a Wii U. I know. Yeah, yeah. He said that Thanks you guys saw the, the Mario and Nintendo IPs, but don't have a Wii U, and I'm like, Dude. yeah, we have a Wii U. I have intending to buy one. I only a Nintendo system I didn't own was a Wii. I had a GameCube, I, I had it. I just did my awesome tax return. Was, that, uh, was yeah. that the end of round two? We yes, it was. And uh, we'll go to we'll we'll commercial in a second. Okay, guys, we that should go to commercial. I think after this one we should, and as then we'll, we'll do the final Nintendo, two in yeah. one shot. It's only 60 seconds. Okay. Guys, we are going to go to a quick 60 second commercial break. We will start round three of when we get back, guys. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. Yes, let's run. Secret word. The secret word. No words. Castle Castle Lloyd. Castle Lloyd. is the uh, Castle Lloyd. Yes. Castle Castle Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick said, "Damn, shots fired." <laughs> <laughs> he said he thought that he hates Super Mario and deserves to win. He just it's revenge for Mass Effect. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Fucking suck it up. <laughs> Mass Effect. More like I Mass love pulling those like random like little things like I'm gonna say the same thing that my mother said to me. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, guys, to the Level Up Show, episode 59. We are doing the Level Up Bowl for the first time this year. Is the greatest game of all time. We're about to enter round three. It's getting close now. It's going to be uh, even more difficult to choose these games because they're going to be better and better as we go forward. BMC, we are entering round three. Guys, thank you so much for all the Twitch hearts. Our most recent ones were from J Ray Bay, Psycho Canadian, Dranko89, Clutch King, X Blakes, and Herman Korea. Thank you. J Ray Bay was already following us. Yeah, he might have refollowed. I'm not sure. There's Psycho Canadian right there. We're at. It, that's not incorrect. We're above 130 Twitch hearts tonight. If we can get to 200 Twitch hearts, I think we should do something special. Maybe Dino Team or something. See if like, we can get that Twitch goal, guys. The original 200. Dino Team. The original Dino Team with Mark here, all five of us as dinosaurs. If you guys can get us to 200 Twitch hearts tonight. Also, real quick, I saw a YouTube subscription there. I don't want to miss that. YouTube subscription from Big Mage. Thank you so much. Keep those coming, guys. Very important to our YouTube. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff on there. What just happened? Uh, Snapchat, Snapchat is what just happened. Yeah. All right, let's move on to round three. 
All righty. Fight! Fight! All right, let's see what the uh, next one is. Can you see in the bracket what it is, Kristen? The Last of Us of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Do you know this is going to oh, happen? I didn't know this was going to happen! <laughs> oh my God! We have to get rid of one of these. Wow. <laughs> Boom! Oh! Um, holy crap. That means the Last of Us games is not going to be That anybody. should both be in the final four. Oh, real yeah. quick. I can't be in the final four. I told you. I told you the code in the chat. I don't know what it's for. It's for $10, though. Look at all these yeah, votes! Yeah, the thing is, they made it to round We're over three, six, so, you know, they made it far either way. There's only two more rounds, but the final round is just the final battle, so, right. you know, it, it's not much more to this than uh, we have. So, both the of the last of us and both of we're down, we're down to eight now. So that means but we're in the dude, top eight games of all time. Let's talk about this real quick. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> I, I don't think the last of us will win, but I do. I think it's going to win, actually. Really? I think the last of us is going to win this. I, 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 you know what? I, because it's just everybody is, it's in their minds right now. Everybody's crazy about it. The thing is, there, yeah, there's a lot of people that are too young to really get that much out of Final Fantasy. There's a lot of people that say, I love Final Fantasy, and realistically, we know that you're just saying it because you know you're supposed to. Yeah. Um, I've never even played Final Fantasy, dude. All, all I have to say is, win, to all the love, youngins, the to all the youngins in the room who haven't never played Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> you're missing out on a genre-defining and also just a gaming-defining right. moment. Like it, it changed games, it changed the landscape of gaming competition between the consoles. Right. It's it's a at the time it's the a pivotal moment. Were, like, yeah. Astounding. It was a pivotal moment right. in gaming, and it aged very well actually. The graphics themselves don't look great, but it doesn't matter. There's this charm about the graphics, and the story is is unbelievable. So if this does lose, uh, that's all I want to say. Right. Um, <laughs> Let's let's look. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow as well. Let's take a look here, guys. The Last of Us versus Final Fantasy VII. Oh my God! I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Oh my God! Wow. That's why I said it last round. Final Fantasy VII. They're gonna is, fight. Final Fantasy VII is not. In That's the how brackets work. For greatest game of all time. That's unbelievable. Right? That is insane. You guys, you did it to yourself. That's crazy. <laughs> now, Last of Us deserves to be up there as well. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot. It's amazing. I don't know. Not in. I don't know. It's tight. Right. It's a it's a close one. All right, let's move on to the next one. Sorry guys, if you liked Final Fantasy. This is I'm... another tough one. Oh my God, it Batman. Should, it should be tough. We're getting into games that are really yeah. Freaking We're good. in the top eight now. Batman: Arkham Asylum versus Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. Oh. oh I have to go with Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. That's gonna be the soundtrack for every one of these rounds now. Just oh. You're gonna go Batman. I know you. I never played Metal Gear. Yeah, oh, okay. it's the Batman. You wouldn't have gone with Metal Gear anyway. Give me no, a break. No, I'm not surprised if Arkham wins because Oh, well, I'm not, I won't be surprised at all. I won't be surprised Batman at all. Batman is awesome. I think Wait, Metal Gear is the Batman cool. where he's like in Victoria era? <laughs> 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 is, this, is this that one? I think it's on Oh, it's close. Stop. I just I just glanced. Oh, what the heck? I glanced at the pie chart. Stop cheating. It is close. Stop cheating. Don't look at it. It is close. Don't do that. You're cheating. Uh, I'm not. I'm not changing the votes. I'm just saying it is I know. close. This is I a know. close one. I don't even know what to say. Give it time. But this one deserves time. This I is think close. it's gonna be bad. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3 is arguably the best Metal Gear Solid, uh, and it, the story it told it, it was so great because it went from Metal Gear Solid 2 was this insane convoluted story. Metal Gear Solid 3 pulled back. It went to human emotion, tried to tell a much more simplistic story, but in a really cool era, the Cold War, with a character that we saw a different side Plus, of. Plus, Revolver you know. Ocelot was a very beautiful man. Yes, he was. And you understand him now in that one. <laughs> All right, Kristen. No, no, not yet. All right, guys. Oh, my God. Here we go. Thank you, Nicholas. You know what's going to happen, right? Follows. Metal Gear Solid 3 versus Arkham Asylum. Oh! Oh! I think they just don't want to upset you anymore. Yes! <laughs> the, 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 Bat yeah! the Batman effect can only be yeah! so much. <laughs> oh, man, I'm really happy about that result. Good choice, guys. If that was Gotham by Gaslight, it would have been. Oh, <laughs> I agree a lot. That was close, though. That was very close. All right. All right, one. so that was Snake Eater. And now we're on the final battle in round three. I, I know we should win this, but you guys are going to be very disappointed. Oh, <laughs> Metal, not Metal Gear, Super Mario World versus Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, God. Oh, Super Mario World. I know, but that is not going to win. I appreciate all of our viewers. Yes. If you vote the wrong way, <laughs> I am not your friend. Anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to be a... And no offense to you, BMC, 
But I know what you're, view- what you're voting at yeah, right we now. We know, we know. And I am not happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario World, guys, come oh. on. GTA 5 is great and all, but... And they're saying way. GTA 5 way too much. Anybody that's running right now GTA 5, get out. Oh my god, no, this is not good! Leave. Here's the thing, I can don't pop leave. in Super Mario World in my SNES, which is hooked up to my TV still, and it works. And get way GTA more GTA 5 Online still doesn't fucking work! Right. How is it gonna be a game of best game of all time? Half of it's broken. <laughs> Let's get it together. Let's get it together now. Let's get it together. Here. Give it a little bit longer, unless it's not even close. I'm about to get my is first close? Derek, Derek is on Grand Theft Auto's side. Oh my god! Derek, you're dead to What? Me. What? Is it close? You can tell me. Is, is it close? Set. Chris is not happy right now. GTA 5 won. Alright, let's let's. GTA, I hate GTA. you all. Rip off the band-aid. Rip off the band-aid. Oh god. GTA 5 Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Yes, dude. Why did you put it in here? <laughs> I, <laughs> Look this... at the monster you've created! Oh. Are you happy with yourself, Dr. Frankenstein? Uh, I, um, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's all I have to say. What would have won between yeah, Final Fantasy VII oh, there is and one GTA more. V? There is one more this round. I, I, I We have a chance still. Strongly dislike all of you. We have a chance for Super Mario to still be in this competition. I know. We still got some Super Mario. Super, Super Mario 64, 64 versus Super Metroid. I lost all Yeah, this, I think we lost out a little bit here. It just worked out in our favor. Yeah, I really hope you guys made the right choice here. I really hope. I I am so. Keep so Mario gonna, in what's this. What's gonna win between Mario sixty four and Grand Theft Auto five? That's what's next. Super Mario goes up against it again. That's, we'll, we'll wait for that. That's in the future. We'll let that happen when it happens. We have one more round or one more fight this round to figure out. Super Mario sixty four versus Super Metroid, guys. Is GTA five gonna make it to the final round? It might. <laughs> I will be, be so mad if it makes it. That would be so ridiculous. Oh man. This is insane. Oh, this is man. not the final four I was expecting. Holy crap. I, you, I told you this. Is this is bad. not the final four I was expecting at all. Wow. Okay. I'll uh, give it a little bit longer here. Unless it's... Comp- it looks like it stopped. All right. You, you know, you know. in Buddhism, they tell you that expectations... Okay. All right. All right. You got Super Mario in the, in the final four. Stress. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Gruz Rama. Cruz Brava. Okay, Super All Mario 64 right. is still in here. That is the end of no, round, round three. three. We will not take a commercial break. No. We're too close to the end, but I will thank some Twitch arts here. Let's go finish. Thank you to <laughs> Stone Tao, Junior Burke, McMahon, some something. I don't know. Just another Gino. The Kobe. Yeah, the Kobe so Show. Awesome, thank you, Alfredo, for subscribing on YouTube. Like, shut up a second time. Terrible. Uh, PKO182, Nicholas, Moser Boy, Murdface, Sepultura, Turtle Sushi, White Fluff, Claptrap, and J Ray Bay. No, 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 no. That's the that's the third time you've mentioned it tonight. J Ray Bay? Yeah. Yeah, I once I I go I reread the last one so that I know I caught up. Okay. So I caught up now, I'm all good. J Ray Bay, deal with it. I love that name, J Ray Bay. It's so good. J Ray Bay. J Ray Bay. I'm gonna name my child. We're at 150 Twitch arts tonight, guys. Let's see if we can get to 200. All right. Let's move on, guys. We are down with round three. Let's move on to round four. The final four. The four greatest games of all time. First up is The Last of Us versus Metal Gear Solid <laughs> 3. Mario will fall, as all the others have. Oh, my God. You said that, BMC? <laughs> no, Rick. Oh, God. I love you, Rick. I'm Final sure. four, guys. The last of us. Make it count. Oh my God. God. Yeah, I, I think it's... It, God, if Metal Gear Solid 3 wins this, I'll be mean, blown away, considering what The Last of Us has beaten so far. Yeah, it's not I but I haven't played it. I think, honestly, honestly Final Fantasy is seven. seven. The, fu- the, la- the final two yeah. is only showing up is going to be Last of Us versus Grand Theft Auto 5, just yeah. because of how young our audience is. I, I do think The Last of Us deserves to be the final four. I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> What sucks is what game it was put, put up against, and that's your fault. No, it's not. They, they, how's that my fault? Because they were going to eliminate each other before the Final Four anyway. Huh? You you you, you needed to predict the brackets. Better. I needed to make Jan- Grand Theft Auto V face the no, last of us earlier. No, no, no. You could, no you, but you could have been like, all right, well, if, if I want this game to win, I want this game to win, but they can't make it to the Final Four, so if I want both of these games to the Final Four. This is not about me. 
This is what they want, and they want The Last of Us versus Grand Theft Auto V. It worked out perfectly. I don't like well, that yeah. scenario. We, we, we were, this this we is not we about us. We were saying you could have moved Final anyway. Fantasy VII down. But I, I shouldn't have done that just to get rid of Grand Theft Auto V. No, I'm not saying to get rid of Grand Theft Auto V. I'm saying move it down a long slot. It doesn't face Grand Theft Auto V. It's going to be a lot. It, goes on it would have faced it in the end either way. That was a close to I thought. Oh, I figured this was the last of us is going into the final round. Way closer. Than We're getting over a hundred. I thought it was going to be shut out. That means that the last of us this. is one of the two greatest games of all time, in your opinion, guys. You just you voted thank for you. last of us all the way through. Isn't it like I was saying? Thank you for all the votes. All let's let's look at what the last of us did so far. The last of us beats Final Fantasy VII. It beat Bioshock and it beat Halo Combat Evolved. So that's what you guys voted. You guys voted The Last of Us into the finale. We are above 300 viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. Thank you, you guys. Coming in at the right tonight. time. <clears throat> and now let's, down to the finals here. Let's move on to the oh, other like battle of the final four. We got <laughs> thanks, Obama. We got Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five versus Super, Super Mario, Mario 64. 64. I'm I, glad that Super Mario 64 made it this far. I am not gonna speak anymore. Because everybody knows my name. Super Mario yeah, I think Hands down, knows. not even a contest. This this should not even be a question. The problem is, it is, and yeah. it's going to lose. I know. Super Mario 64 is going to lose. It's clear what people like here. They like I don't, new, I don't understand that. like, mature, ballsy games. Right. Do you I don't realize how old you sound right now? <laughs> you guys don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> there is something, and it's not just nostalgia, it is Grand still... Theft Auto V didn't define a genre. Uh-uh. It's a good game, and it, oh, it's it's a, it's a fantastic fantastic doesn't game. deserve to be this far in the game. No, no, no. No, it should have right. lost to... It should have lost to Mary World. It should have mm -hmm. lost to... Let's see if it should have lost anything else. Um, it also beat Eco, and so it beat Elder Scrolls. I'm surprised it lost to Elder Scrolls. Very yeah. One, uh, one over Elder Scrolls, only because... Here's the thing, and this isn't anything well, you know, negative or derogatory. I... The, I, I keep forgetting how young so much of our audience is. Yeah. And I kind of don't put a lot of weight into that, you know, because we have such, you know, we have a lot of older and, you know, yeah. true gamers and anything like that. You know, was, That's like when, when we were doing our Thursday stream and we were asking people to give us some things they thought they should be in there, everyone was like, Assassin's Creed. Like this and that's like, no. Yeah. Like, Assassin's Creed should be yeah. the, the greatest games of all time. No, no offense, guys, no. but like, no. Not yeah. even close. Yeah, for sure, no. There's a lot of games we put in here just because they were... It, you know, for that genre, for that, yeah. for that line of games, they deserve to be acknowledged. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto deserves to be acknowledged, yeah. and the fifth one it's the best is so the Grand far Theft Auto the penultimate. Yeah. Just the same thing as Bioshock. Even though Infinite was great, Bioshock 1 yeah. was, you know, so... And people would have ripped us a new asshole if we didn't put Grand Theft Auto 5 on here. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know? And it was going to make it to the final two no matter what. So this is just the way it works. I don't, let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's, let's see the damage. Grand Theft Auto 5 versus Super Mario 64. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Super Mario. Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I don't even know. Words. What needed to happen? Speaking. <laughs> all right. Oh, my Holy God. crap. I'm, I'm blown away. That happened. Grand Theft Auto V didn't make it into the finale. That's awesome. This is a good finale. Super Mario 64. Suck it, Ray. This is, this is, <laughs> this is great. This is, this is old and new. The Last of Us is the best game probably of the last, what, 10 years? Maybe? One of the best games? Uh, Grand Theft Auto V is one of the best of the Yes, but I didn't like Oh, we've got so many people who are happy. Yeah. So but many Super Mario 64 is one of the best games of the 90s. Oh my if not God. the best game of the 90s. It's a genre defining thing. Just like The Last of Us is kind of a genre defining moment in a way. So I think this is actually a really cool finale. That we got here. This is old versus oh, new. Oh man! Old school versus new school. Captain Keys, how are we rigging this? Come on. We are not rigging this. We hey, did nothing. You guys no. are voting. You it voted is. for Super Mario 64, and Commander We're not voted. even voting. That wasn't that close. No. That was like 60 some 69 percent right. Super Mario 64. That was so crazy. It wasn't that close. So you guys we really wanted the it. Voters, uh, we make an argument for. All right, right. So the final. The final battle is The, the Last of Us versus out. Super Mario 64. I think oh, we should grab it. Would it be totally a dick move that right before revealing the poll results, so like, let's take a commercial break. <laughs> Can we please do that? <laughs> no, just stop the stream. Can we please do that? <laughs> just stop the stream. Because that's no. so dick. <laughs> oh, so you want to pull Sopranos? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, the greatest game of all time. This is voted by you. You brought it to this point. The Last I, of Us I don't know. versus Super Mario 64. Look at all the votes. Come I want to know the answer. Follow our Twitter. Yes.
Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> We'd only be revealed to our patrons. You must become a patron in order to know the results. Do you guys want to put your vote in or not? No, we are not putting our vote in. This is this is their this is their results. We already know what we're mad about and what we want to win. I honestly don't know what I would choose here, actually. I don't I, do. I love both. Would you go see Mary 64? I, absolutely. I love both. Absolutely. It, it, Last of Us is phenomenal for storytelling. Yeah. But it was not without its faults. As the core Mario game, 64. remember what I was saying? Balls. The core game itself, as as fun and good as the gameplay was, and there were some great elements it had, it still was very repetitive. And it wasn't very imaginative when you think about other games of the same style. This what is, really carried the game was a story. The reason I really liked this is because now that this is the only poll where I can't make a decision. This is the only one where I, I, I don't know. We'll leave this open a little bit longer, guys, so if you haven't... I yeah, love, let's talk I about love, this. Love, love, love The Last of Us, but Super Mario 64 is just revolutionary. I know it is, but... <laughs> if, if Final Fantasy were to go into this, into this finale, it would have like that would have been even more difficult. But the fact that I think the Last, of us, the last of us beat the Last of Us beat Final Fantasy VII, so that's why Final Fantasy VII isn't here. Um, if Final, so Final Fantasy VII was here, it would be even more difficult how for me. Shot, how much of a time delay is it? I have no idea. So is everybody here Super Mario 64? I am for sure. All right, I think we're almost it's a coin ready for, me. for, the, for, for the results. All right, guys, <laughs> we will reveal, reveal the results after this quick 60-second commercial break. Wait, are you serious? We're yes, serious. Go. We are freaking serious. Oh, we know man. how to make it work. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> we're so we're so dicks. I know. I'm sorry. The secret word is asshole. Yes. <laughs> 68 plus 40, 46. 68 plus 46, is 16, that a result? 69 plus 46. Stop! That stop, doesn't make stop. any sense. No, stop. Just. Oh, that's how many people voted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how many people voted. But that's still, you're telling us the results now. I don't way. know which one it is. I don't know which one it is. But it's farther apart than it, I thought. It's farther it apart than I thought it would be, that's for sure. What's, what is... The, 69 plus 46 is what, 113? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not real... Close. It's not that close. What did they say in the chat about the commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Just, not please. Guys. All right. Well, okay. Let's um. Welcome back, guys, to the Level Up Show, seconds. episode fifty-nine. This is the first annual Level Up Bowl, and we just did the greatest game of all time, as voted by you. Thirty-two games, and you brought it to The Last of Us versus Super Mario sixty-four, old school versus new school, and supposedly is not as close as we thought it would be. One hundred and seventeen votes. One hundred and seventeen votes. You guys, I think, all voted pretty much, if you could. So, are we ready, guys? Everybody that's gonna vote. Everybody yeah, that's gonna vote, I think, voted. Ready? We're ready, guys. Let's let's see what the results are. Make this up for a Ah! Really? I don't like you. The Last of Us, right. as voted by the Level Uppers, is the greatest game bucks. of all time. My faith in our audience has been shaken. I don't know. It, 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 it's if there was one new amazing. school game I would have chose, that yeah. is the one. Yes. I agree. Absolutely. They I chose the right game from this generation. Okay. A lot of people here did not play Super Mario 64, let's be honest. They chose the right game of the of all the games that are on here that are like new gen I agree. in the last ten wow. years. That was the right choice. But you all really should go back and woo, play some Mario 64. Yes, you should. Oh wow, we got a lot of people happy. <laughs> a lot of people happy. No, you guys, you voted for it, so I'm happy for you guys. <laughs> yes, like, this is what you guys knowledge. wanted. Uh, I can't I can't fault that. Yeah. Um they're both amazing games. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh, for when they came out. So it's not even nostalgia. Yeah. For me, honestly, it really isn't. I didn't even have an N64. So GTA there's, no, there's voted for the West. There's West. no nostalgia factor. For, I mean, there is, but there's not nearly as hardcore of a nostalgia factor for me as there is for some other people. Yeah. It should have won because of how well it still stands up to the test of time. <laughs> Ghosts. To this day, yeah, I think isn't it actually the Wii, uh, the Virtual Console's best-selling title? I don't know. I believe it's the the best-selling title on the Virtual Console, yeah. um, along with Super Mario World. It should have won because it still holds up, and it did amazing things for gaming. You know, what I just realized we should have done. We should have all written down the final game we thought like, would have been on a piece of paper yeah. and folded it up, so that nobody like so Mario 64 would have been mine. I, I thought The Last of Us would win tonight. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I thought it would. I'm, say I was right, yeah. I, I, I knew because of our audience. I, I thought Final right. Fantasy well, VII... And that's why I knew it was going to be close. I was, I was really scared. I thought it was going to be Final Fantasy VII versus The What's Last of Us. What did Ocarina lose to? Uh, Ocarina, Ocarina of Time lost round. in the first round. <laughs> that was absurd. I thought Ocarina of Time would be Final Four. I thought it would be Final yeah. Fantasy VII versus The Last of Us as the finale. Mm. 
Um, but um, <laughs> Rick is rubbing it in. You know what? It, 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 this was an awesome result, though. Uh, GTA for just, it, Wall Street everybody was totally on board. Effect. Yeah. A lot of like Sorry, everybody no. voted. This was so much better than I was even expecting. We got oh, over 300 a, people in the room. Great more people than Holy I shit. was expecting about I love this. 50, yeah, for a Saturday, right? Oh, like, Ocarina lost to Metal Gear Solid Three. That's unbelievable. That, as that, much as that I love Metal Gear Solid Three, right. that was probably the biggest upset of the night. No, yeah, that, I think that was. I think that was the biggest upset of the night because how close it was too. I think it was 51 For in general, yes. For you though. Your biggest upset was Journey. your second fucking matchup. Journey versus Okami. Thank you for 100%. the follow. 